<coughs> first of all, let us uh, um, review what about the state concept. Uh, the state uh, is uh, or can be defined as a minimum set of variables needed to describe the instantaneous behavior of a dynamical system. Um, actually, the state space is some n-dimensional space built with the state variables as the as the coordinates. So as you can see, for example, let us name x uh, as some uh, array which includes all the all these variables x1 until xn. Usually, this n uh, is the same uh, as the order of the system or the order of the differential equation that uh, we are dealing with. And um, take a look that every variable here is a time function, a, a continuous time domain function. Okay. Another important definition is the trajectory of solution. This is an orbit built with the points of x of t in the steady space. So, for example, uh, imagine that we have a three-dimensional system or three-order if we are dealing with a linear system. Um, and uh, imagine that we have some initial point here, initial state, and um, as time go, uh, as time um, increases, then this point, uh, the position of this point, is changing, of course, uh, in this n-dimensional space. Okay, that is what we call the trajectory of solution. Uh, of course, is this is the point x of t, right? Is is the uh, the point formed with all the coordinates? of the of the state. Let us uh, try an example. Find the state space representation for this plant. If you remember this uh, example was solved uh, in in the in, uh, in classroom, but anyway, the the idea here is to multiply and divide times some function x of s and then um, make equal numerators, I mean y of s equals to x of s and u of s equals to denominator s squared plus uh, 3s plus 2 times x and then um, obtain the inverse Laplace transform and finally just rename x1 equals to x and x2 equals to x dot resulting in this solution of course we have rearranged this into uh, into dynamics right so this is uh, into a matrix I'm sorry so uh, we may uh, rewrite this as x dot equals to this square matrix times x plus 0 and 1 times u and uh, output equation as y equals to 1 and 0 times x. Well, um, consider a continuous time dynamical system as a general equation as x dot equals to ax plus bu and y equals to cx. Solution is given by this equation x of t equals to phi of t times x of t0 plus integral from d0 to n of this phi evaluated at t minus tau times v times u of tau differential of tau with, I'm sorry for the Spanish, with uh, phi of t equals to the inverse Laplace transform of si minus a inverse matrix. This is often called the state transition matrix. Uh, Okay, so um, let's do an example. For this system, find solution x of t considering this couple of initial conditions, which actually is the initial point of the trajectory sol of solution, and let us assume a step input. This is the same system, so um, let us do this using uh, mathematic. So the first line here as input 18 uh, is, uh, is just the declaration of variables here we have x sub 0 as the, the vector 1 and minus 1 and um, dynamics uh, matrix A is uh, input here as 0, 1 and minus 2 and minus 3 and uh, B equals to 0 and 1 so matrix form is just instruction in order to display the solution as a matrix and uh, we are um, asking Mathematica to expand the following result, which is the inverse Laplace transform from S to T of the inverse, uh, where uh, Mathematica assumes that inverse is inverse matrix, of S, which is a scalar, times identity matrix of order 2, minus A. If you can see, this can be named, on um, this is the form uh, in order to 
obtain this state transition matrix phi of t and here I am declaring as a function this phi of t that's why we have t underscore here and um, this is equal to the previous result so in this way we can um, manage t as a variable okay including this function phi so again we use matrix form in order to display some matrix the following result we are simplifying phi of t times x of 0 plus integrate or the integral of phi of t minus tau times b uh, we are assuming that u is the step function so uh, this is just one uh, I am uh, um, making this obvious and the integral is for t uh, from uh, for tau from 0 to, to t and finally this is the result so this is precisely the value for x of t okay well now um, anyway if you if, if we have uh, a state um, equation it is possible to find the the transfer function okay and transfer function can be obtained using g of s equals to c times si minus a inverse matrix times b a very important idea here is that take g of s always is um, quotient of polynomials right so um, for this case if you remember how to obtain the inverse matrix uh, the denominator of this transfer function is the determinant of s i minus a determinant of s i minus a is exactly the same that the eigenvalues of matrix a we're going to see this in a little bit okay now let us talk about controllability first of all <coughs> what is controllability so consider a system uh, x dot equals to ax plus bu and a system is said to be controllable if there exists a control signal u of t defined over t such that some desired final state x of f can be reached from any arbitrary initial position so that's uh, take a look at the uh, a little bit at the drawing here imagine that we have some initial state here and we have the orbit of solution here and previously we have uh, we have obtained this u okay in such a way that this u make this system to go from x0 to this x of f so system is controllable if there exists this input signal or control low okay but in order to uh, make this an operable uh, condition then we use this uh, following um, uh, equation here the rank of this matrix take a look that this is a composite matrix we have b b which is a vertical vector a times b again is a vertical vector and so on until we have a uh, times uh, n to the uh, a to the n minus one times b if you can see this uh, for for uh, the kind of systems that we are going to deal with is a squared matrix okay the rank of this matrix should be n in order for all the columns to be linearly independent okay a similar condition may be obtained using this m controllability matrix and find the determinant if the determinant of this matrix m is different from zero then the system is controllable okay otherwise it's not controllable if it is not controllable there is no input u uh, to make the system go to f uh, from an initial condition to uh, some arbitrary uh, point in the state space <coughs> okay now using these ideas let us find a way to control a system if you remember the main idea for controlling a system is precisely to find or, or to change the behavioral mode of the system right um, so let us uh, let us study this topic consider some uh, time invariant linear system as uh, the state equation and the output equation that we have here as usual a is the matrix which contains the dynamics of the system 
and very important eigenvalues of this matrix are given by the characteristic equation lambda i minus a determinant equals to zero if you can see actually this is the denominator of the transfer function which means that these eigenvalues are exactly the same that the poles of the transfer function okay if we want to change the dynamics of the system we change we change the poles if we need to change the poles then we need to change the eigenvalues if we need to change the eigenvalues then what we need is to change matrix a but matrix a is data uh, so uh, if you can see the main idea here is that this matrix is coefficient of x so let us find a way to change the coefficient of x in this equation the only way to do that is through this control law u then let us uh, make a theorem here uh, it is possible to change the behavioral model of the system using a state feedback of the form u equals to minus kx plus r for some gain matrix k as uh, k1 k2 until kn let us consider this k a horizontal matrix um, let's see the proof <coughs> let us substitute by direct substitution we uh, use u equals to minus kx plus r in such a way that we're going to have x dot equals to a minus bk times x plus br if you can see we have here a new input which is r our new reference and we have uh, a different coefficient matrix here of x this coefficient matrix is depending now on k in such a way that eigenvalues are going to be given as uh, lambda i minus a plus bk determinant equals to zero if you can see k is so it is possible to choose this gain matrix arbitrarily let us do an example uh, let's design a feedback control law for the closed loop system to have behavioral modes at these uh, values of lambda so uh, first of all what we need to do is to find if the system is controllable or not and then to find this the last example control input is taking or is using value x1 and x2 which are the states of the system but um, what if we cannot measure this these states that's why we will um, go to this other topic which is the observability so consider this system this control law and how to realize the state feedback control law is if the state is not measurable then what we're going to do is to estimate the states which are not measurable the estimation is called observation and uh, we required uh, the observability condition then the observed state or estimated state is going to be used to generate the control law instead of the original state vector okay now let us define observability consider this system x dot equals to x and y equals to cx no matter if that we uh, can, that we are not considering this u it's exactly the same system is completely observable if given the output y of t it is possible to find the initial state x of zero if we can find the x of zero i mean initial state then we can obtain all the other now if you can see it's similar uh, it's uh, it's um, in a similar way we're going to need some matrix here which is called observability matrix and instead of having columns we're going to build this with rows c is uh, a row then c times a is, is another row until c times a to the n minus one again for this for a, a two by two system we're going to have uh, a square matrix here the rank of this should be n uh, then it's possible to find initial state from measurements of the output then observability can be uh, found if the determinant of this matrix it is different from zero same as controllability condition now let us focus on obtaining the estimated or observed state so if system is observable then 
Um, let us uh, try a naive approximation here. Assume x of t is estimated by the state of the observer. Um, the observed state is going to be x tilde here, okay? And if you can see, it's different. It's a, it's a different system from the system that we have. I mean, this is not a physical system. This actually can live in MATLAB, for example, or in another simulation system, okay? But anyway, we have A, B, and C. So if we define the error with respect to the original system, x minus x tilde, which is the observed system, then um, we uh, find the difference between original x, t x, uh, x dot equals to ax plus bu and this x tilde dot equals to ax tilde plus bu. And you're going to find that um, we have the system for the error e dot equals to a times e. Problem here, you can see, is that depending on eigenvalues of a, we're going to have different behavior for the error. What do we need for the error? We need for the error to go to zero as fast as possible and um, with no oscillation and all that stuff. So if a is stable, then error tends to zero in, when t tends to infinity. But if a is unstable, then error does not vanish. So what we do is try the following. x tilde dot equals to ax tilde plus bu plus ke times. Take a look. What we are just adding here is a proportion of the output error. This is the output error. Okay. So when we do that, um, this proportion, ke is a kind of k matrix, is do that then aerodynamics are going to be given by this equation e dot equals to a minus k e c times e so dynamics of the error can be changed using this k e okay so of course we force this matrix to be stable so the error is going to vanish for any initial condition okay so it's possible to choose k e in order to have fast response let us do an example. For this system, the same state observer considering that the aerodynamics should be determined as this uh, for this uh, with this uh, lambda. Okay. So we have the lambdas, the desired lambdas for the dynamics of the error. So we proceed as follows. First of all, always verify if system is observable. For the for this case, uh, determinant of observability matrix is different from zero, so system is observable. Now, considering desired eigenvalues for the aerodynamics, we compare the side characteristic equation with the error characteristic equation. If you can see, this is exactly the same procedure uh, in that uh, when we um, obtain a state feedback law. Then we compare these characteristic equations and we find ke to be this uh, this vector. So observer is found to be this expression here. Okay. Well, just in order for you to to practice for this system, design a control law to assign closed loop poles to be this. This is the first example. Remember, and consider non-measurable state, and design observer considering aerodynamics as this last example so what uh, you may do is to simulate the system the control law and the observer using scilab or matlab or whatever you want okay thank you very much guys uh, see you